What's up YouTube? I got another video today. We're going to be doing these Sephiricon slugs. This is what they look like here. And if you don't know what a Sephiricon is, it is a single surface that never stops. It's continuous. This band right here wraps around and around on itself and it's like a sphere that's just one solid orb but this is a continuous surface. And I will put a clip in of one rolling so you can see how it rolls in like a meandering fashion. So I'll put that clip in here so you can see that. So that's how it rolls. And this is the mold that I made. I got one side of it here. And I've got one stuck in the mold here. See that one? So when you put it together, you can just put like a lead slug or whatever you want to put up here on the top and then I've just been heating this one up with a torch because it's just a prototype mold so I didn't spend the time to make a, uh, a nice good hand one like you do for casting bullets. But let's uh, load them up and see what we can do with them. Alright, so I've got a Sphericon loaded up in here. We're going to uh, shoot down here at this target and just check some accuracy and flight and make sure they don't go all crazy or something to start with. But where they are essentially a sphere, like it says Sphericon, and it's one continuous surface, I think that they're going to act a lot like just a round ball or a musket ball. And I feel like they're going to be pretty accurate. I just sighted this in at this distance with a regular one ounce foster slug and it hit about an inch and a half low so I'm going to aim right at the center of the target I'm expecting this to hit about an inch, inch and a half low let's try it alright Let's go down and check it out. All right, so here we are at the target. You can see there's three different holes here. This one should be where the slug hit, right here. And these are where the wadding hit. And the reason why I say that is because if you look through the back of the box, right there, this one went all the way through and made a nice hole like the Sphericon and those barely had any power. So that would have been this one going through making the clean hole and then these ones just being the wads. And apparently a wad went up there and went through the flap of the box as well. So let's step up and see what it will do to a cinder block. All right. So now we got our cinder block down here. These are 450 grain or so, and that's just over an ounce. So it should do similar damage to a cinder block like a one ounce lead slug would do. They seem to be flying pretty straight. If you want some more information about these, I've actually started a spot on my website at ballisticmachinist.com that is for prototypes and projects. And every new round I come up with, I'm going to create a separate page that just has information on there about each individual round. So if you want to know more information, it'll all be typed up and written out on ballisticmachinist.com. But let's hit that center block. I should probably put the GoPro up. All right, so now that I have the GoPro going, now let's shoot the center block. Let's go check it out. All right, well, here we are down here at the cinder block. We look at the front of it. Looks like that's about where I hit. Kind of in the center, 
Did a lot of damage, knocked both sides of it off. And I don't see the actual lead slug anywhere on the table, so it must have kept on going. Let's shoot some water jugs with it now and see how it does. All right, so we got our last one that we're gonna shoot today, ready to load up. Those are eight pound casks of the long shot powder that I use for loading all of these in my production slugs. I've got them all full with water. So there's four of them lined up. Let's see how many of this will make it through. If one of them survives, I might do a bonus shot with a 357 Defender just to see how it messes it up. So let's uh, take the shot. All right, let's go see what it did. Well, I don't think any of them survived. We got this one down here, and these are a lot tougher than a regular milk jug. <clears throat> so, we got an entrance, split the jug, all the seams and came out. Then we got this one. It's got a nice entrance hole here, right in the center. Split the jug. Came out the back right there. We got this one. Third one. Nice entrance hole. You can see here it split the top of it out. Came out the back. Then went into the fourth one. It didn't split the case on the fourth, but it came out leaving a nice clean exit hole out of the fourth one and here's our slug still has the uh, get some sunlight on it there still has the kind of the rough shape there of the sphere con and you can see on the cinder block right there where it cracked it and or not cracked it but where it hit and flattened itself out so if it flattened itself out that much after going through four of these big jugs that thing was still carrying a ton of energy it's pretty crazy all right well thanks for watching if you like the video subscribe to the channel like the video if you can that would help out a ton and don't forget to go check out ballisticmachinist.com to get more information on this slug some of my other ones, and to see the ones that we offer for sale. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.